Jack <laughs> made me tell a dream. I told him a dream I had before it. A really weird dream. Sex dream. It wasn't a sex dream. It involved my dick, but it wasn't a sex dream. And then that leads us on to um, the Jack Mate podcast. Yeah. Did we speak about that? No, we, no, we haven't didn't. yet. You got we, some good guests for that. We did get some really good guests, actually. This, Again, that's when the channel was 200,000. Was that really? Odd. 200,000. You hadn't done the Zoella calendar video yet, so oh, yeah. Yeah. you were still yeah. a small league. 200,000, and we used to, fucking hell, that doesn't seem that, that long ago, really. It wasn't long ago. Your channel just blew up, didn't it? Mad. And we filmed it at YouTube Space, but because I was only on 200k, I very much, I love YouTube Space. Like, they were very, very hospitable yeah but i did get the vibe that well you can't have the big rooms because side well, men are we, in there we wanted to book out the same room for weeks in advance and they're like no because people have a book people have already booked things you can't book them all for that time so we weren't able to get a regular rhythm with it which yeah made it quite quite stressful it was quite sporadic and um yeah i remember once it was probably one of the most disheartened moments i'd had we got uh jimmy conrad on yeah, yeah. former usa team footballer uh, footballer scored a goal in the world cup and um, still makes content now on YouTube. But we got him on and I posted it on a Friday evening and went out for a few drinks. And I, I like 50K was always my goal from a video. I was like, if I get 50K, it's great. And usually I'd get that in a day or two. And I remember I went out a couple of hours later, I checked the views and it was on 1,900. Really? Yeah. And I was just like, wow. Wow. I wonder why it did so badly. I think it was a case of just like not much of my audience being interested in football at the time. And uh, American. like it's... American. Yeah. It's, he's, I mean, with the greatest respects, he's a lovely man, but he's not Cristiano Ronaldo type click. Yeah. Is the, he? So... The, the, the guess that like, Really stand out to me. Eddie Herm was really good. He's just a great storyteller. Yeah. Um, obviously, Gervais was really good. Mm -hmm. Dynamo? Dynamo. Dynamo, it was a bit awkward. I I recently have edited it down for clips for Facebook and watched some of it back. Cause, and it was some awkward moments. Jack made me tell it. <laughs> Jack made me tell a dream. I told him a dream I had before it. A really weird dream. Sex dream. It wasn't a sex dream. It involved my dick, but it wasn't a sex dream. Flying up? Nope. Oh, okay. What is going on? <laughs> Not going into that. Uh, <laughs> it was, I was at Hogwarts, and one of the punishments were, if, basically, if you did something <laughs> wrong, you had to write, like, a note where it was essentially going, I will never do this again. But they put the pen in your penis. And you had to write with your penis. You want to tell us more? No, we're interested. We're intrigued. I dreamt I was in Hogwarts. <laughs> you are. You are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And was, the door's there, mate, if you want to just slip out. So there was a couple of guys. I don't, know, I don't know who the guys were. Yeah. But we were in trouble, and the punishment was that a pen was put in our penises. A peni. And then we had to write a sorry letter with our penis. That is so a he, weird dream. But he, he told me, he made me tell Dynamo that. <laughs> Dynamo was just, just there looking at his manager, kind of going, why, why am I here? <laughs> why did you make him tell him that? And I was, oh, it was uh, so weird. What in your brain went, tell him, it, tell our guests. Dynamo him. will get there. <laughs> like back then as well, Dynamo was quite big. Yeah. yeah. And your podcast wasn't in comparison. I it, don't, was, it was so strange that we got him. Yeah, I would love to have him in here because he has got good stories he definitely. did have a lot of good stories i'm gonna definitely not tell you any dreams before no, that if you do dreams. i bumped into dynamo about six months after he's that. walking on the thames like, all right mate <laughs> <laughs> float past my window <laughs> I, got any candy <laughs> i bumped into him at reading did i tell you no yeah and um we was in the little guest area and i, I went up to him and uh i went hey are you right mate and then he went yeah, you're right. And this is by the time when his Crohn's was really bad. So mm -hmm. he, he was on medication. And I just went, oh, mate, I'm absolutely smashed. And then I went, what are you drinking? What are you drinking? And he was like, I'm not, not drinking. I was like, oh, did you enjoy the podcast? And he went, yeah. I went, see you later, mate. And just walked off. And I just made myself look like a complete, just a complete. I meant, you know when you're pissed and you bump into someone yeah. and they just don't want to know. Oh yeah, I've had yeah. that a few times with me. The, I guess you, <laughs> I guess you guys should have one. I remember because it's the most starstruck I've ever seen Jack was the super vet. We we, we bumped into, into, oh, yeah. into the super vet in the Reading guest area. And yeah, you were like oh my god, super, super yeah, vet. Is he, it, he'd be amazing. That is an unusual person to get starstruck. I think over. what it is, yeah, I think, and I and I I don't want to come across as arrogant here oh, at all, well, right? Don't do it then. But but because I uh, know, but because I've I met a few celebs, right? And we'd even met like the Arsenal football team before that, right? But I find it more interesting when I find somebody that I know one of my friends likes because it's like, oh, I might be able to get a video message for them or something. And Fiona loves Supervet, like literally watched him all the time. So when I see him, I'm like, oh, fuck, like this is going to be such a cool story to tell Fiona. Like Fiona liked 
Machine, Machine Gun, Gun Kelly. Kelly. Yeah, so yeah, but, sounds like but but being met, so I met Supervet in the exact same spot that I met Machine Gun Kelly, right? Yeah. But. But those two meetings were the complete contrast of each other. M- meeting Machine Gun Kelly was one of the worst moments ever. Like, literally ever. So uncomfortable. You, you were taking the photo, weren't you? I it, put the phone away. It was <laughs> how he was acting. I was like, I'm not going to take the photo. Horrible. Literally, I'll just tell you now. I'm sure I've told you before. But, like, went over to him. We'd literally watched Youngblood set at Reading. And it was brilliant. And Machine Gun Kelly came out, did this, like, little bit. And I was like... That is so good, and I did. I will say, and I and I pre prefaced my video with this as well. I, before I seen him, I thought he looked like a bit of a knobhead. But when I saw him on stage, I was like, he's actually cool as fuck. Mm. So when we saw him in the guest area, and I had a few jars, obviously, so you have a bit of that cu- <laughs> d- Dutch courage. And I went and literally went over and was like, "Oh mate, uh, really liked your set with Youngblood." And he didn't say anything to me. I was just like, "Is he listening to me?" Because he had a, he had a joint. He was looking down at the floor. I was like, is he smashed? And then I went, is it all right if I can quickly get a picture? And he didn't reply again, did he? And he just turned and looked at me. And he just looked back down. And I went, is that all right? And he just looked at me again and went, uh, shut, what did he say? Just hurry up and take the motherfucking photo. Or yeah, no, like he, he went, hurry up and take the, take the fucking picture, motherfucker. Like that, in this deep, like, Alabama accent. And I was just like... <laughs> Okay, and I'm shitting myself. <laughs> I'm literally my ass is flapping. Like, when he didn't reply for the first two, I'd already put the phone away, yeah. and then he said that, and Jack just went. I was like, um, okay, uh, okay, so I had to get the phone back out, and then I had to try and unlock it. I was like, this is so awkward. Yeah, and I, I'm leaning in, like smiling, not really knowing what to do. And you've seen the picture; yeah. like he just looks looks down at the floor. He just looks like he wanted to be anywhere else but it's, there. I, I get not wanting photos in that situation, um, but. It's, but it's, you, it's, could, you could just say no if someone's just someone said a good set at least you'd be like oh thanks mate you, yeah. you, you think you'd be buzzing over I that don't, but... I, I don't have any fans taking photos and, yeah. Uh, so yeah. I've, I've always thought that like maybe don't ask for pictures in the guest area but I've been asked for pictures in the guest area and I absolutely love it like I don't mind at all and the lads from Don Broco were lovely yeah exactly like, and yeah. that was so it's like to be in that same situation everyone else is really happy yeah and he just looked miserable the, yeah. the, the guy from Don, Don, Bron- Don Broco Rob um, Rob Delaney is, no Damiani. Rob D- Damiani I always get that fucking mixed up Ro- Rob Damiani he was the loveliest man ever like Jordan or Doody Rhino like that's his hero he saw Rob walk past him he was like fucking hell that's the guy from Don Broco and then the next day when we saw him again because Jordan bottled asking him I was like Fuck it, mate. We'll just go over and ask him. And he was the sweetest fella. Like, he was li- really literally nice. said that he'd like recognised that like him from YouTube and stuff like that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it was mad. And then that brings us back to Super Vet. What we were talking about, the nicest bloke. Yes, pissed. Yeah, he was very drunk, but having a well good time. And I just I, I, I was basically on a come down from Aaron Ramsey at, at that point because Aaron Ramsey's like they all a bit pretentious, weren't they? Do you think Callum Chambers was there? Callum Chambers, Oxlade, I think was there. I don't know. Yeah, there was like three or four Arsenal players like back in the day before they moved and that. But um, yeah, that was that was an interesting time and put my arm around um, Super Vet and he was just absolutely buzzing, grabbed me. Yeah, it's just, it's good. So good. So top top man is is Super Vet. Yeah.